second obstacle that we want yeah. to talk to all you guys about right. already awesome. um, is um, I would love to bring it up because it's all about growing with the change, growing with who uh, who your spouse is turning into. Oh. So sometimes, right? It's like so being open. You have to continually be open and not put false expectations on that spouse. You know what they're gonna say, kind of thing. Kind of remembers is, me of yeah. the, the bridge we talked about last night, yeah. uh, last week. Last week, yeah. When, uh, when there are the cracks, they were yes. there. It's just through marriage, things get exposed. Mm -hmm. I discovered I'm, I ain't perfect. Uh, you know? I'm sure maybe my wife ain't perfect. Uh, no one, no one okay. is. Yes, yeah. We get confronted with our limits and our um, yeah. boundaries, or, yeah. or what is it? Is it the comfort zone stepping in? Is it stepping? Ego? Yeah, and learning to step out of it, is it together. Ego saying, "Hey, I want it to be this way. Hey, it has to be this way." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, darn! Yeah. He's married, and things are changing. Yeah, I'm changing. I'm changing too, and Big time. and that's why it can be an obstacle to overcome because you have to continually uh, allow your your spouse to change as you are changing as well, and, and seeking. I love that you said that earlier. Seeking to know them, seeking uh, your spouse's mm. best. Sometimes I feel like our spouse's best really comes out when instead of really aiming to right shape your spouse into who you want them to be to really allow them to be that just fully flourishing thriving person yes. and something that we thought about with this obstacle you know kind of growing with the change of someone or you know seeing how you can best honor and serve that person that is continually changing and growing is um, our solution is like really seeking to know and get to know how your spouse best wants to help you. Often an obstacle in marriage is um, we focus so much on uh, what our spouse doesn't do. We, you know, as parents, you so often critique your kids over and over. You tell them the things you, you wish they would do or something they'd do better. The uh, ratio should be you know, about 10 to one. In that sense, you should give your kid 10 compliments mm, versus right. one negative critique a healthy confident mm -hmm. and and yeah whatever kid but kid. also a relationship yeah. a healthy i think uh flourishing relationship with your child but think about that when it comes to your spouse you know it's so easy to focus on uh you know he didn't take the trash out or uh he didn't or do this or that you. yes yes um and uh it's so easy to say that but i think focusing what we've discovered is focusing mm. on the ways that your spouse wants to help you wants to do and yeah, and, and, and allowing and encouraging that and allowing that to yeah. do that doesn't mean that you're weak if i want to help mm -hmm. doesn't That's mean true. that i think that i know things better yeah I'm not at all not <laughs> <my part. laughs> yeah give each other that opportunity to laugh on each other in the way that you um we have discovered there's a lot of things yeah. we like to help that's the same and versus us both trying to get it done all the time, it is that compromise. It's talking um, to the two, you know, to the both, like how can we best help each other? Or baby, what do you, what do you like to help with? Even though it might be something that, you know, say there's something that I really like to do and I really want to do it and I think I know how to do it best. But if Kim also likes to do that, is it better that I do it because I want to or that's what I'm comfortable in or is it better to maybe see you know he likes to do that compromise is over there compromise yes and uh, yings and yangs up in there somewhere yeah finding a yeah. balance balance who am I who are you what do you want to do what do I want to do what do we have to do that's actually a really good point, baby. Kind of getting on that page of, okay, has this is what done. we have to do. This is what has to be done. There's some things you have to do, right? And you have to be willing to let go, to move forward, right? It's like you can't have two bulls um, at each other and being stubborn and finding out how you can balance it. And then, then seeing, I think what's really great is finding out maybe those things that your spouse doesn't like to do as well. See, seeing what maybe <laughs> they don't, but seeing if there's, there's uh, what is that, like holes. Like, okay, so my spouse doesn't like to do this. I don't mind it. Instead of harping on them is an English term, like instead of Sounds nagging, like uh -huh, it's not so beautiful okay, when that. you're harping on someone. <laughs> Getting on them basically about not doing something. Um, I learned this even from living with roommates is if it matters to you that much, 
You do, do it. it. Right? Just do <laughs> it. Do it. Giving each other that opportunity. Giving that opportunity. That yes. Yes. Giving and taking. Is yes. that what compromise means? Basically. Right? Just, yeah, that little give and take. And like, give I like the yin and the yang. Like you said, balancing yeah. each other out and moving forward and seeking each other's best and getting on the same page instead of being at war with your spouse. So, billion, billion hearts back from here to you guys. Big time. All the way back. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm.